Steven, it didn't require a jumping cable this time? No, it didn't require a jumping cable. So, that was the problem then, was the starter. Motorcycle jack comes in handy. Oh, that's a motorcycle jack? Yeah. That's a motorcycle jack. That's, so that's specifically just for motorcycles, but you use it for a car? Uh, specifically, and if you specifically use it on something other than a motorcycle. So, clean this map sensor up real quick. We'll be done with it before it rains. So then we'll all be able to take the car to work tomorrow? Well, I don't oh, wait a sec. Yeah, yeah, tomorrow. But then on Thursday, I'm going to need you and AJ on Thursday to help me take the cats to the vet. There you go. What is that? What well, this is a throttle body cleaner, and it's too expensive to be using it on throttle body. But uh, I use a couple drops in there. Yeah, it's about to rain. That's like 14 bucks a can. That's man. $14? A, that's a $14 can? Yep. Wow. Well, I won't know what to know to think about taking my I car. I don't know to, what to know. I mean, I haven't I taken mean, my I car to work. I don't know what to know. <laughs> I, I don't know what to know. I haven't taken my car to work in three well, months. Well, I know when I know what to know. I don't know what to know. Do you know what to know? So you certainly did some problem solving then, didn't you? Problem solving then. then. So this is fourteen dollars for the can. Yeah, that stuff's expensive. Any chemicals are expensive. Everything's expensive. You can buy a fart for five hundred ninety-nine ninety-nine. I'll say you one of mine. Ah! On a uh, discount <laughs> for a dollar ninety-nine ninety-nine. How about that? I'll say you one on discount. You're going to be getting a deal if you buy one of mine. So did you get the car fixed? Make sure that door shuts. The wind keeps pulling it open. So did you get the car fixed? Yes, your dad certainly um, fixed it. Praise the Lord. So the way I got it figured is what happened is this gap right here was leaking oil really bad leaked oil all underneath the car and saturated the starter and uh, made the starter not work anymore so so I got and those battery cables were junk so I got some better battery cables and uh, changed that cap with the filter and put a new filter in it and a new starter and I think she'll run. Let's give her a try. Let's try. Let's try well, thank try. you, Stephen. Thank you so again. much. Try a fry. It's no sin to try. I certainly put the mileage um, on the F-150. Yo, I was uh, wondering where AJ got that me stuff. And I started listening to myself. I think he learned all that me stuff from me. <laughs> oh, you mean the bad grammar? Yeah. When I said, well, here's me rags. Oh, but, yeah, but you're saying it just in, in, um. Yeah, but he wants to be cool, too, you know, so. So anyway, when I realized I chewed him out about bad grammar, I realized I was the one that was saying it. Oh, well. I said, I don't know where you're learning that crap at, boy. You better quit listening to it. And then later on that night, I was going, give me a rag, give me me rags. Oh, so you were catching your own bad grammar. Well, I was, I was finding out where he was learning it from.
Well, I guess that just goes to show you he doesn't get everything from me. That he's learning a lot from his father. I guess good and bad. <laughs> Yeah, well, the funny part is, is that I was telling him, I don't know where you learned that bad grammar, boy. <laughs> Your mom has spent 11 years teaching you grammar, and here you are saying, I don't know where me stuff is. And then I caught myself saying, <laughs> I thought, oh, well, that's where he's learning that bad grammar. I don't know where you're learning that stuff, boy, but you better quit learning it. <laughs> that's pretty funny, Steven. All right, well, let's see what you got. Uh, almost anticipating it to go. You think it to go without a jump? Let's see. Sport rains. I know AJ's gonna run out here and say, y'all are leaving me behind. He's gonna come out looking for us too. This thing will have windshield wipers. Look at those windshield wipers. They're stringly. Oh! Those things are stringly. Oh, those are horrible windshield wipers. I didn't know they were in that bad of a shape. <laughs> if we had known that, you could have picked some of those up. I didn't know they were in that. I spent 200 bucks on your car today. What? You want. <laughs> yes, you did. I didn't know the windshield wipers were like that. There what, you go. what made them like that? There's your car. Well, thank you, Steven. That cap was leaking oil all over everything, and so it leaked it on the starter and made the starter go bad. Well, thank you. Um, I hope it doesn't rain tomorrow where I need my wipers. We don't have any extra ones on hand, do we? Um, uh, maybe. I don't know. I have to look in my wiper stock. I'm glad that this hasn't fully, uh, broken. Uh, this is where I cracked the window right here with a rock from the weed eater. It's been like that for This quite is a tough <laughs> So we bought car. this thing because Ruthie took her Ford Taurus, which was a really big car, took it flying. And when it landed, it bent like a banana. And it was no good anymore. So, unless you like driving humpback cars where the front bumper and the back bumper rub on the ground while the center of the car rides up in the air. Oh, be careful. Here comes the horse and buggy. Or not buggy, but open wagon. Yeah, you know how they'd be scared of this little tiny car. One headlight. <laughs> oh, that's right. It does have headlight issues. That's right. Yeah, well, don't get... Uh, don't get asking too much. Ask. <laughs> You're not supposed to be driving this thing after dark anyway. Okay, yeah. Uh, well, praise the Lord, the summertime is here. Our, our spring where it's not dark. My so. trailer's still there with a flat tire. Tomorrow I'll have to call on some tires. Then uh, if I can get some, I'll bring them up here and call its face and come over and put them on. I want to at least get four for the bad guy. One more. 
<laughs> Thank you, Stephen. There you go. You got moss growing under your mirrors there. See? Oh, because it's been sitting for three months, I guess. Yep. Got moss growing. I can't see anything. Uh, this car is so filthy. <laughs> this car is so filthy. It is. It's dirtier <laughs> inside than it was outside. Considering it's not dark until after seven o'clock now, then I, I'm, I should be okay with the the headlight well, issue. Then back to normal, riding like the jalopy it always. Was. Riding like the jalopy that it was. Well, ah. It's not made to take out of town. It's, I mean, I'm sure it was at one time, but for us, it's just a town car. Well, I mean, to go to work in Katie's. Or go to Princeton to the grocery store. Other than that, wouldn't be taking this thing anywhere. But I wouldn't take it any further than that. We got good vehicles for that. Well, thank you, Stephen. Look at all the grease on your thing there. Where'd that come from? I don't know. I guess it's probably. Break the freaking windshield. Don't ever pound on glass. Did you miss us? No, I wanted y'all to see this. He missed us. No, I didn't. AJ missed his parents. No, he missed us. is not good spelling. AJ, you missed Bicycle, us? Bicycle, helmet, skyscraper. You, you missed one. Car. Toothpaste. What is this? Toothbrush. Uh, tractor. What is that on the bottom? Clad pizza. Club pizza and car. Right, well, that's enough for today. Finally, it's a miracle. Hey, did you know that we both left and you missed us? I knew we both left, and I didn't. Oh, he didn't miss us, Stephen. Yeah, well, you know he never tells the truth. Be quiet. 